What's up, y'all? Uh, today is January the 10th, 2015. Uh, solo run the game. Back at you with another shoe review. Um, today we'll be uh, unboxing and reviewing the KD7 EXT Longhorns. Um, retailed at $200 before tax. I picked mine up for foot action. So let's get on with the shoe. So I'll show you the. Uh, Nike PR unboxed it. Uh, it came in. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Going to the shoe. Voila. Lo and behold, KD7 EXT. Um, it's a real interesting shoe, man. It's actually made out of pony hair. Um, the whole shoe is uh, leather and pony hair and like a velvet feel in the midsole. So we're going to start at the bottom, um, it's a caramel colored gum look, and if you turn on the shoe to the side, we'll go to the midsole, this is a velvet, like a black velvet, right here, wrapped around the whole shoe, and in the back they have an air unit, take a look. back of the shoe, the heel of the shoe has a leather piece right there at the heel and a Nike sign branded if y'all can't see it's whoa, right there that Nike sign branded on the side take it around to the strap of the shoe, the strap's actually all leather, it has a KD35 right there and if you can't tell in the middle that's a 7 for the shoe and on the tongue of the shoe, the shoe tongue of the shoe is actually leather with a KD brand on it as well. As I lift the strap up, it will reveal a Kevin Durant signature KD. Black laces, of course, with gold tips. I just sold the shoe. Um, another Nike branded Nike sign right there. Real interesting shoe, y'all. Again, these were retailed at two hundred dollars, two twelve after tax. It's a little costly, but hey, it is what it is. And the inside of the shoe is also has that leopard print with a KD symbol as well, size ten. I still got the paper, and I haven't worn them yet. Well, real nice shoe, man. It wasn't bad. They didn't have them looking like hell with all that glue on them, thank God, because that's really was what I was looking for. Because you figure a shoe made of horse hair, essentially, you know, you know, you don't want it to look tacky and cheap with you know all that glue. And Nike sometimes has a bad job with that. But and, uh, my business though, again, the KD7 Longhorn EXT edition. I'll show you the other shoe. Uh, both of the shoes, man. This is going to be in my top 10 of the year. I'll do a review on them. I'm going to be honest. This is probably going to be my top 10 pair. Very awesome pair of shoes, man. Y'all can, I mean, y'all can hate if you want, but I mean, give credit where it's due, man. If you know how to really rock this shoe, then everybody's going to be looking, man. I may wear these if I decide to get the uh, retro fours today. I actually want to raffle for them. And, I don't know, man. I'm not really excited about them. They're just all white and like a dark navy blue, midnight navy blue. That's what they're calling them, Columbia. But I think I'm going to stick with these. And next week I'll be back with the Chuck Posits and later on in the month the uh, French Blue Sevens. And again, this is a all around view of the KD7 EXT long. Awesome shoe. So, like, subscribe. Catch me on Twitter at Solo Run the Game. And again, please like and subscribe because I'm doing this for y'all as well as myself. I'll be back next week with the Chuck Posits.